Hello beautiful people of the internet, good morning. This is the first time I'm speaking today, oh my god. Basically, my mom is in Italy today, it's her last day in Italy and I'm gonna go to her home right now, check on the animals, check on my brother, see if everything's doing fine. I brought my makeup bag, I'm gonna get ready there and we're just gonna have a chill start of our day. So yeah, let's go. I have arrived. Here I am in the kitchen. My cat, John, is eating his food and I'm gonna go upstairs to the bathroom and do my makeup because I don't wanna be looking like this all day, right? Let's go. We're here in the kitchen. Now I'm just gonna be making an espresso shot because I feel really tired and it's gonna help me wake myself up. The cats are eaten, Luna has eaten as well, my dog, everything is fine. So let's make a coffee. I decided to come outside to chill for a little bit, have my coffee with a cigarette, which is probably one of my favorite combinations. And I guess that today I'm choosing to have my cigarette in the morning. So I've really been enjoying cigarettes in the morning rather than at night because, I don't know, they just give me such a good buzz and I've just been enjoying it, you know. So I'm gonna put my coffee over here and pray that it doesn't fall. That looks a little bit dangerous. I feel like I cannot move too much. But you know what? Let's go. This is a Marlboro Gold. Let's light this up, just chill for a second. And then we can continue on with our days. Let's go. Also, needless to say that whenever you watch my videos, if you are watching this just to have a chill time, you don't need to be smoking at all. That's, a f that's, that's for sure. You can be doing whatever activity you think is relaxing to you. If just watching my video is enough to feel a little bit more relaxed, then that is amazing. But you can grab a coloring book, which is one of my favorite activities for when I want to relax, or make some you know, soap bubbles. That is so cool to watch. There's a bee around me. I'm kind of scared of bees, but I've always known that it's better not to move when you are scared of them then to move and then they sting you. I completely forgot that today was a beach day, so it's Sunday and it's hot outside. So there was not many parking near my mom's house because she lives near the beach. This is an old family house. It was built in 1943 by my grandfather. And at that time, it was affordable to build homes, affordable to those who had some money. I, from what I've heard from him, he was like, a worker at a gelatin factory, but he kind of climbed up the rankings and he invented some sort of flavor. And so, I don't know. I don't know much about my grandfather because he has been gone since I was, since I, I've never met him. So I don't know much about him, but uh, you know what? He built a great family home. My grandmother had nine kids, including my mom. So my mom has eight siblings, kind of crazy and they all lived in this house. And I, me and my brother lived in this house as well. So he did a great job building a family home. But yeah, as I was saying, my favorite forms of activities to relax 
would be soap bubbles, making soap bubbles. I just think it's so fun seeing the colors when it hits the sunlight. Coloring books or just drawing mandalas. You know what mandalas are, those really pretty drawings. I'm not very good at them, but I like trying to draw them anyway. There's a lot of ways to relax and smoking is not a big one. There's many other things that one can do, you know, but I don't know. I liked that I've created a little safe space for me, I guess, which with lots of control still, because I only smoke one cigarette a day. I don't smoke more than that. I just enjoy it. You know, I feel like it's a, such a peaceful time for me, whether I'm recording or not. If I'm recording, I'm talking about some topic, having fun or just relaxing with you all. If I'm not recording, I'm listening to music and just enjoying the day or enjoying those five minutes where I'm smoking a cigarette, you know? So yeah, cheers. If you have some kind of soda, beverage, coffee, monster energy drink, water, ting ting. That's what we say here in Portugal. We don't say cheers when we like hit the cups with each other. We say like ching ching because that's the sound that the cups make when they touch, like the glass cups make like ting ting, like a clinking noise of the glass. So that's why we say ching ching instead of cheers. It's very weird for me sometimes when I'm with people that speak English, instead of saying ching ching, they say cheers. And that's funny to me. First time I heard that, I was like, I said ching ching and everyone else said cheers. And I was like, oh, cheers. I corrected myself instantly. I've been doing a lot of breath work lately because I was having some <clears throat> Days where I was in a very bad mood and I was just kind of being mean to everyone around me. Not mean, but like I was kind of avoiding everyone because I didn't feel like talking. I felt like I was going to be rude if I talked and that's, I get into those moods sometimes. It's kind of annoying, but um, I've been doing a lot of meditation and like looking inwards, being like, why am I like this? It can be hormonal. I think like sometimes being a woman is a little bit tiring because of that. There are just some points in the week or in the month where you don't feel good just because you have hormones being like yuppie yuppie, trying to run everywhere in your body and being like, okay, we're gonna be happy, we're gonna be sad, we're gonna cry, we're gonna be hysterically running around the house, listening to music very loud or just in the bed without being able to do anything. So I've been in that kind of mood for like four days and then I was like, it's, it's time to get over this. And now I'm a lot more stable. And I feel like it comes from looking inwards, being like, what am I needing right now, emotionally wise? And just understanding that maybe I just needed some time alone. So that's what I'm doing here, you know. I love being in nature, hearing the birds and the trees and seeing my dog and cats. It's a very pleasant moment. A lot of people have been asking me what my dream job is. And my dream job is to be self-sustained. I don't know if this if that's how you describe it but basically I want to live in a farm and plant and harvest my own vegetables and fruits and have a bunch of animals and just take care of them watch the sunset and sunrise kind of be away from a city but still somewhere where, where I can go like grocery shop if I need with like a 15-20 minute car drive so I don't know I feel like I for 20 years of my life, I'm 22 now, but for 20 years, I kind of just ran around everywhere, going to school, going to college, university, doing everything so fast, trying to study, have the best grades, get a job, get another job, that now I'm just like, whoa, I haven't really experienced anything at all because I was just always running to do the next thing. When I was studying for a test, I was already thinking about the next test. When I was in my job, I was already thinking about, oh, the next day I have to come here again. What am I going to do in my free time? And I was always like planning everything so tightly that even when I was having moments that were supposed to be relaxed, I was already thinking about the next thing that I had to do. So I never really relaxed at all. So I reached my 20 years and I realized I was just burnt out of life in general. And I was just like, like you know, it's time to take a breather, time to take a break. And in that break, I was like, what is something that I've always wanted to do and never did? And that was creating my YouTube channel that I created at 21. Because from 20 to 21, I was kind of like having a life crisis of what am I going to do? And then I decided to start doing something that I've always wanted to do, but never did because I didn't have the time, which was creating my channel. And I'm very happy about it. Happy that I did it, you know? 
because I feel like there's so many things that we always postpone and we're like, uh, I'll do it next year. Like this month is not exactly the best time. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. And then five years have gone by, 10 years have gone by and you still haven't done the thing that you really want to do. So I kind of realized that and I was like, maybe it's time to start doing it right now instead of, although it may not feel like the best time to do it, which you're never going to feel like you're ready or like it's the time to do something. And that is exactly when you have to do it because you're always going to have that feeling of it's not now, it's not now. Give me a few more minutes, hours, days, months, weeks, years. So it's better to just do it when you have the feeling that you want to do something. So yeah, you know what? I hope you enjoyed and you have a little bit of a chill time here with me and I'll be back very soon. Bye!